But one of the most powerful parts of the inspector is the ability to change the properties of the object from this control panel instead of having to try to figure out how to do it with your fingers. Uh, we see that the position of this object here, which is based on the top left corner, is at X432 and Y808. Now that's measured from the left over and from the top down. We know that this object, which is the actual square object, not just the finger inside it, but the square object, is located 432 pixels in from the edge and 808 pixels down from the top, and that's the top left corner. Um, now, this grid allows you to easily manipulate and visualize where your uh, object is going to go, but then once you've placed it, if you wanted to uh, move an object to that exact spot. All you'd have to do is write down these two values and then execute a change, uh, change of value to move something to that same spot and it would be, boom, uh, superimposed in that exact location uh, based on the top left corner. You can do the same thing. You can change the size and the, uh, the height of the object or the width and the height of the object. Um, you can change the scale of the object. You can also resize things uh, with your fingers. So we talked about position, we talked about size and scale. Uh, let's talk about rotation. Uh, if you bring an art object in and it's oriented like this finger to the left and you want it to point up on the page, it's really simple. You just go to rotation and uh, you can actually type in a value. Let's type in 90, a 90 degree change and hit return. Oh, now it's pointing down. Um, so <clears throat> what happened is you told it to uh, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Now if you go up and change this to say minus 90, now it's pointing up. Um, and minus um, 180, Oh, that's minus 80, so it does, changes very little. Let's try minus 180. One, one, come on, one. 80. Okay, now it's pointed the other way. So now this art object is pointed the way I want it to point. Uh, this art object, which is a gear that I want to, to be actually be turning when you load this page, if you look at the inspector, what I did was it has a rotation of zero, but I gave it an effect of changing its rotation over time by, I think, uh, you know, a multiple of 360. So it's basically turning that number of times uh, over that number of seconds. Uh, so that's two different ways that you can use rotation. You can change the orientation of an art object on the page or you can cause something to move and rotate backwards or forwards using the negative rotation or positive rotation. Uh, and if you want it to turn multiple times, um, take 360, multiply it by you know, two or three or four, and then uh, make that be the rotation over say 20 seconds or 30 seconds or 60 seconds. And the object or whatever it is will rotate for that duration of time, that many rotate, uh, that many uh, degrees.